Some of you may have read in the news today, there was a report from Reuters news service that the Chinese government, uh, the State Council Information Office, is auditioning, auditioning Western uh, advertising agencies. They're concerned that foreigners just don't get it. They just don't understand what China is, where it's going, and what it means for others. So I don't know what those advertising agencies have offered. I don't know what kinds of programs they've put together. But one of the things that's been noteworthy to me is the heavy reliance on animation as the Chinese government seeks to use innovation, innovative ways to communicate with its own public and with foreign publics. And so I'm going to show you four quick examples, most aimed at the internal audience.习近平身为一名威武的战士使他熟悉了人民军队的基本情况培养他对国防建设的战略思维一九八三年习近平调任河北省政定县委书记同时兼任县武装部第一政委党委第一书记开始积累基层岗位党政军工作的经验一九八七年九月担任厦门市委常委
Now this one, this one, uh, is aimed at an internal audience. You do have English subtitles, but it was created for the Suga Chenmian, the four comprehensives. comprehensives. This one's a little bit tougher in parts to sing along with. You'll be singing it on the way out, I'm sure, uh, now that you've got that. Now, these, uh, that again was created for an internal audience. This one is created for an external audience, and it is all, it's not even two weeks old. So, friends, uh, I think that the, we don't know, we have a, a, a company, but nobody knows who actually did this uh, video. But it seems that they were inspired by the idea that foreigners are into superheroes. <laughs> superheroes like uh, Superman, who's Clark Kent during the day, or Bruce Wayne, the Batman character. And they toss off their suit and deal with the big, big problems. So it seems that they were convinced that foreigners would respond to this and respond to another film impulse. The Chinese economy is changing. New opportunities are emerging, and with them, new challenges as well. Things that were unthinkable five years ago, or even one year ago, are now possible. To deal with the new normal, China has had to rethink its strategy. To better understand, let's take a few lessons from Chinese Kung Fu. Retreat to move forward. One of the most difficult things to understand about Kung Fu is how a series of simple, slow, and gentle movements can contain such strong power. However, by moving slowly, you can harness the power of your surroundings. Managing the Chinese economy will also require this kind of deliberate action. A slower growth is needed to allow time for restructuring before pushing to the next level. Perseverance ensures success. Kung Fu emphasizes training during the coldest and hottest days of the year. This teaches the importance of perseverance. Similarly, to take advantage of positive changes in the Chinese economy, such as new structures of supply and demand, and increased consumption, persistence in supply-side reforms, urbanization, entrepreneurship, and development of the service industry are all essential. Do as nature does. Learn from nature. Learn when to move and when to wait, when to tighten and when to release. This is the highest state of Kung Fu. Are you encouraged? Do you have faith? So Mr. Kung Fu, Mr. Gong Fu is in charge of the Chinese economy. We can all rest easy. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us.